This 13th floor video session is powered by The Rock Shop. Hi, welcome to the 13th floor. I'm Marty Duda. Today we are on K Road in Auckland at Frisbee Studios with the legendary Billy TK, laying down some tracks with some buddies of his. And uh, thank you for inviting us down here and letting us uh, take a peek at what's going on. Good to see you. Thank you for being here. <laughs> it's been sounding amazing. Uh, we've been blown away. Yes. And we'll be able to share what you guys have been doing with everybody else. Um, so, why are you up here? Are you recording well, an album, or what's happening? Uh, a number of number of reasons. Um, we come up to do a couple of gigs. Well, I came up uh, from 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 down country, and uh, I've really come up to do the um, uh, support for the American band that's out here called uh, Endless Boogie. Right. And um, that show was on Sunday night at the um, Tuning Fork. And uh, John, uh, the the manager of this um, this whole thing here, he um, he brought together a number of musicians, bass player, drummer, and uh, another guitar player, um, and they've come to support that. Right. And uh, we've had we've been busy every day, uh, photo shoots, and we've been rehearsing, and we've been playing, and you know. Like, so we've been doing a whole heap of stuff since every day actually over the last week. Fantastic. Uh, yeah. And is this all in the service of hopefully coming up with a, an album at the end of it? Yeah. Well, the 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 recordings are really uh, a brainchild of John John Baker's. Mm -hmm. um, he wanted to catch uh, some of the stuff live, you know, uh, impromptu stuff too. Yep. And uh, uh, a lot of the stuff is not very well rehearsed as such. And it comes from the heart, right? You know, and uh, and and whatever happens in that moment, you know, it might be good, bad, or ugly. It doesn't matter. <laughs> well, it sounded pretty good. For we already re re recorded two songs that you guys did, and the first one is a thing called Storm. Storm, yeah. yeah. It's actually called Storm Walk because it was it, it was uh, recorded in. Uh, well, the idea came, <coughs> excuse me, uh, from a place where I used to live in uh, Little Wanganui in the South Island, right? And uh, I was down country one night in a place called Punakaiki, and this mother of a storm come up, <laughs> you know, huge storm. And, you know, if you've never seen West Coast storms, you've never seen a storm. Man. Well, you know, they don't call them storms anymore. They're weather bombs. Yeah. <laughs> like, this was really, like, scary. Right. Yeah, really scary. Yeah. And there was lightning, huge lightning, big thunder rolling in, bouncing off the cliffs, big seas, you know. It was lightning like, you know, it was going for hours. Right. Hours, like really shaking the place, you know. And that sort of gave me the, the, the feeling for, um, for, for the track. And then when I went back to Wharf Road, um, another storm happened. So um, I started playing with it. And then it, it sort of led me into different, you know, feelings and the emotions, and and that's how storm come about. You know, it was to really let that sort of deep power and fury. Come yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. All right. Well, let's give it a listen, and we'll come back and talk a little bit more. Uh, okay.
Okay, we're back here with Billy TK at 13th floor. We're kind of on location at Frisbee Studios on K Road. And we should mention uh, the other guys who are playing with you. You mm -hmm. have uh, Marshall Berry is on guitar with you, yep, yep. right? Yeah, I know, no, but Marshall's on drums. Uh, okay. You, you Kaya I've got a mixed Brown up. That's right. On, yes. On, on the other guitar. <laughs> Thank you for helping and, me. And, and, and Vimo is on, on the bass. Vito's on bass, right, Joe? Yeah. And uh, how did you find these guys? Yes, well, I find them very interesting because, um, you know, that, that they, they're young and they're ex uh, enthusiastic and, and, and they want to know. Right. You know? And, uh, you know, they, they need to play and play and play like I had to do. You know, I had to, I had, I had to do uh, a lot of work in the clubs and, and you know, out, out doing the gigs, festivals and stuff. And that's play and play and play. Yeah. And then you work on your stuff and, and you get it together. That's, you know, that's, that's part of it. Yeah. You know? And do you still play as much as you did, say, uh, back in the day? I, I think I actually think I'm busier almost. You know, <laughs> I'm trying to slow down, and it's just getting busier. You know, because I got I, I do Australia and, and I do the New Zealand tours, and I and I and I'm in Europe as well. Right. So I, I, I do a number of of of, of, of gigs now. Yeah. So and, and I mean, you've been making music for an awful long time. Yeah. Since early 60s, I guess, somewhere yeah, along there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there a particular uh, time and place that is near and dear to you as far as the music that you made that kind of stands out in your mind? <coughs> well, the 60s and 70s was a great musical time. You That's know. true. You know, you had, you had all the uh, Woodstock, you had all the hippies coming through, and, and, and they brought a whole magic to the, to the scene as well. Yeah. Um, today it's a little bit more controlled, but I noticed that, um, uh, that the, the festivals now are demanding a higher, um, uh, a higher level of, uh, of, of input, if you like, from, from, the, from the promoters and from the, from the musicians. Right. Um, because uh, I had maybe three promoters call me um, and uh, in 2007, I was nominated uh, as a um, peace ambassador, mm -hmm. you know, by the um, United Tribal Alliance, and uh, and that means um, uh, I get to share my feelings on peace and talk to people about peace. And uh, what I'm trying to say is that festivals are also trying to bring the peace element into the festival sites, you right. know, and having that, having some sort of consciousness going on, on peace, which is, you know, it's not just music or yeah. anything else, it's everything now. Because the festivals can go either way. They can be fantastic, peaceful events and everybody's grooving on the music, or else they can turn into something yeah. the opposite. That's right, and I noticed that they, they were, you know, they're getting like, right, 5,000 is a good amount, yeah. you know, that they can deal with. 30,000, they're, they're struggling, you know, <laughs> you, you've got parking, you got toilets, you got everything. So five thousand they can they can handle that. Yeah, very good. Alrighty, well we got one more song to listen to. Uh, yep. this is uh, as far as I know unnamed, yeah. but it's well, something this, that's kind of this, working this, on. This piece of this piece of song has really come from uh, from the guys in the band. Right. Uh, and it's come from uh, uh, it's really a uh uh uh, uh Bra Brown brainchild, if uh -huh. you like. And uh, and we've just Inputted what we have to it. It sounds pretty heavy. It sounds heavier and kind of darker. Yeah. Well, we got we we got a little bit of heavy. So, um, uh, in this piece, we we all get to share different things in there, and uh, Marshall does a, a drum solo in there. So, you know, we all get to say something. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> well, I'm glad you decided to say something to us. It's yeah. a pleasure meeting you, oh. and good luck with the oh, record thank, we'll be looking thank for. Thank you very much. Right. Hope you like it.